Scorpio. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I am Amira. This is Mama Coops' Soul Healing. This is going to be your weekly reflection message for Scorpio. So wherever you have a Scorpio in your chart, it may resonate for you. Interesting. Um, I said interesting because these cards wanted to shuffle in reverse. All right. Um, this is going to be your weekly reflection, okay? Yeah, literally, they wanted to shuffle in reverse because this your card wanted to come out in reverse. All right, it says power over difficulty showing up in the reversal. Reclaiming your power, 32, which is a five. All right, so someone doesn't want to go through the difficulty. That's what a five in the reversal tells me, especially with this card. Now, a five in the reversal could indicate that the conflict is over, but that's not what this says. And then we have balance, stability, and standing firm, 40. Yeah, I feel like um, someone here wants to remain in their safety zone, all right? That's my new term for comfort zone. I like to call it the safety zone, all right? Um, that's not like you, okay? That's not like you. But let's see what's going on here. Scorpio, weekly reflection. That's not like you at all. You guys are typically like, um, you guys are typically a more um, confronting, let me, let me, <laughs> I wanna be in the midst of, of chaos and change um, kind of sign. But I want to add on to that, um, and I just posted, of course, about this on Instagram just a couple of days ago. If you guys aren't following me over there, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot more, um, especially, uh, you know, it's it's really not even readings. Anyway, um, your birth chart is really significant. I have to go into this because I, this, this is this just how I feel at the moment, and, and I go off of how I feel. We, we are an intuitive channel over here. <laughs> Uh, your birth chart has significance, okay? It's not just about your sun sign. Um, every planet plays a part, all right? In addition to that, your experiences play a part. Your environment plays a part. Your trauma plays a part. So me saying you're not like yourself because you are Scorpio, I don't know you, right? And you, you're one Scorpio watching this reading, another Scorpio that's watching this reading. You guys have had two very different experiences. Um, but just generally speaking with the energy, it's going to be the same foundation. That there is some kind of trouble, if you will, or adversity, conflict, um, difficult space, difficult space where we are meant to learn something that is meant to occur, where I feel like it's being avoided or um, difficult to go through and get over kind of thing. It's like you need to go through this to grow through this is what I feel here. All right. That's sort of like the premise of your week, if you will. But let's pull the tarot. Yeah, here we are. All right, first card out, Ten of Swords reverse. That, that this is like something coming back from the dead, something that should be done, should be over, whether it's trauma, like the Ten of Swords indicates, a betrayal of some sort, a relationship that has ended or needs to end. This is delaying a painful ending. That's what this is. It's someone who's in victim mode. I mean, it is. It's someone who's in victim mode, like waiting for somebody to pick them up off the ground, but you have to find the power within this situation and reclaim your power. We always have some kind of power. We always have some kind of power. I don't care what the situation is, you have to find it. You have to find it and sometimes it's just sometimes it's just a mental thing. Sometimes it's an emotional thing as opposed to doing something physically, all right? Or physically removing yourself from a situation, you always have some kind of power. And the more that I feel that pushback where someone is saying, I don't, I don't, I don't, the more you will remain in this situation. But let's move on, because this isn't a, let's move on. 
Queen of Cups reverse. So the Queen of Cups reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, feminine kind. The Queen of Cups reverse is someone who has not healed. It's someone who is emotionally abusive, aggressive. She is um, like a child. She acts like a child. She's probably super dramatic. Um, she she's um, pushy. Okay, she doesn't understand boundaries. Is what I want to say here. All right, this is probably likely someone who, um, and especially coupled with the Ten of Swords, there may be some abandonment issues here that have not been healed. All right, with the energy that I see, Queen of Cups reversed, though, is emotionally abusive at the at her lowest level. Okay, it's someone who is not loving, not can't, she doesn't understand unconditional love. She she probably pushes people away, whoever this person is, and it, and again that 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 has to do with trauma. That's the that's the abandonment um, wound that needs healing. All right, um, she doesn't know how to express herself clearly, co correctly, or lovingly. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm getting something about punishment as well. Something about punishment. Hmm. Yeah, because she's manipulative. <laughs> she is. She's manipulative. All right. She she will manipulate her own. You know, she may she may be she may have tears, but are they real? Do they what do they mean? That's, that's what I kind of get from that. Okay, what is this? Page of Cups reverse. Yeah. This has to do with childhood or children. All right. Because essentially the Queen of Cups reversed, to me, is the Page of Cups reversed. <laughs> okay. It's someone who has not healed. It's like looking for love in all the wrong places or looking for love in the wrong ways because this person has not been taught or, or has not healed from whatever this Ten of Swords is. It's in the reversal because someone's refusing to accept that something is over or heal what has what has occurred the ten of swords is the end it's the end of of a painful cycle difficult cycle filled with trauma anxiety confusion stress conflict um selfishness there's so much in this sword energy and it will it will mess with your mentality right the, that that mercury right maybe there's a need to check your mercury placement we were talking about birth charts earlier but the the ten of swords is sun in gemini in the reversal and so that is the moon right the, the opposite of the sun is the moon there's darkness here there's depression here there's confusion here the subconscious is taking over because someone will not allow it to come to the forefront to be dealt with there's healing that needs to occur all right, last card, Three of Pentacles. Only card that's upright here. So the Three of Pentacles is working in tandem is what I want to say, working in tandem with someone. This is this is working to build a firm foundation. Things are working well. This is teamwork, collaboration, compromise, putting your skills to um, together with another person or another entity, even if you will, to build something stable, have something solid. Bottom of the deck, we have temperance, okay? Sagittarius, that's it's very close to your sign, but temperance is a card of evolution. It's it's a need to heal. It's time. It's time. This is a need to heal, to move forward, move forward from what has ended from the past. Okay, temperance. Yeah, the eight of pentacles, put in the work, seven of swords reverse, five of swords reverse. Let's see what your lesson was. All right. Don't forget to like the video, all right? Subscribe to the channel, share this video if you think that it may resonate with someone who is not subscribed. Knight of Pentacles, and you have the Five of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. So the Knight of Pentacles is a worker. This is somebody who is dedicated, who's trustworthy, who, um, has ideas and puts them into action is someone who's creating a plan and, and, and taking steps with said plan. Five of Pentacles reversed is seizing a new opportunity, realizing an opportunity to get out of this place of, again, Mercury. Okay, here we are with Mercury again. Um, an opportunity to get out of this place of feeling like I don't have something or I'm I'm without or abandonment, okay? 
Queen of Pentacles reverse, a lack of security, eight of wands. There's been delays here, arguments or no communication. Six of cups, the ace of swords in the reverse, okay? I feel like um, there's a need to speak up. There's a need to heal. There's a need to evolve. There's a need for someone to be honest with themselves about how they feel, what, what, what trauma they're acting out of, okay? The only card, again, upright is the three of pentacles here throughout your week. So something was working. Okay, or, or there's a partnership or, or skills that have been acquired that, you know, in that particular area, there's something solid. All right, I feel like there's a need to continue to build on that. That was your lesson this past week. Practicality, being practical, focusing on the future. All right, that's what I have for you guys. I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you next week.